Hello everybody, I'm your friend Daniel Montiglio from Foreigner BG and today we are in a special edition of Bite and History here in the Culinary Arts Institute in Bana with the famous Chef Hugo. How are you Chef? I am so nice to see you again. Nice to see you Guys, too. welcome. Easter is coming in a few days, right? Yes sir. So Daniel asked me to do with you guys Kozunak, which is an amazing bread, typical of Bulgaria, which is super unique. Many countries have special bread in the world for Easter, but this one is quite special. Sweet bread. So Daniel, we have the ingredients now that we're gonna use, so you can see what goes in it, all right? Talk about the first step. All right. So we have milk. So you want to have a fat milk, right? We also have some regular milk. Regular milk. It's better if you can have it uh, unpasteurized milk, but called raw milk, uh -huh. from a farmer somewhere, because then your milk is much thicker, much nicer, has a better flavor. Some yeah. sugar, some yeast, and yeast? This some yeast? flour. That's dry this, yeast. Is usually is the same like you use for a beer? For a beer, they're gonna use fresh yeast to do this. Uh -huh. And this is this is dry yeast. We mix everything. We to X to a 30 to 30 degree temperature. Let it proof triple in size. And then once we did this next step is we would go here. We have the whole eggs plus one egg yolk mixed with some sugar. Okay. All right. And some Bulgarian yogurt. It gives right. a nice acidity, nice fresh texture with it. And then to this we're gonna have some fat, in this case we have pork fat and then butter, okay? mm -hmm. which is melted, added to this. Okay. How many kosunaks are we gonna do? Five or six small loaves, of. you can do four, but they're bigger. It depends on who you okay, want. Okay, depends on the, how big it is. All right, okay. so this, this and this together until you dissolve the sugar, then you add your fat with it, then you're gonna add your uh, flour with it, okay? And then we also have a bit of vanilla to add to this. And then once this is done, okay, then you make your dough, you mix it, then you add your flavoring agent. In this case, we have some raisins, some rum, and some walnuts. Coming from Dobrich, one of my chef, his grandma, gave us fresh walnuts, which she cracked open this morning just for us. And this goes on top. Fantastic. All right, let's go back to our kitchen. Our first step is, we have to uh, do the uh, the starter. The starter, I have my milk over here, okay? And in the milk, I'm gonna add the yeast. We're gonna mix our yeast inside. It has to be no more than 30 degrees, otherwise you're gonna kill the yeast. That's really, really That's important. why you keep it warm. Yes. I have the rest of my ingredients in the oven. Ben will show us in a little bit. But I have all the ingredients in the oven already to keep them warm so in this i have the yeast i have the sugar already let's see our temperature should not be higher than 30 because then we have a problem if it's higher than 30. okay we're at 40 so what we do now is just go like this all right and i'm going to start i'm going to start to add the flour with it and by doing so that's going to cool off okay the the mix Good time actually to announce our masterclass this summer. I didn't tell you this, but we're gonna start masterclass in the summer. We're here in the culinary arts. Yes, Institute in Varna. Varna. Thank you for my boss to let us be here at the Varna University of Management in Bori State 13A. And we're gonna start having masterclasses this summer on Saturday and Sunday. So for those of you working at home, you can come. We're gonna have masterclass with the master chef. Yes, huh? I did master chef this year, which was quite fun, but that's, I don't, that's not what I wanna say. We're doing master classes Saturday and Sunday. Okay. It's 100 leva per person. It's maximum 10 people in the kitchen. So it really is a private class with the, with the chef. Me and my other two chefs. And our first one will be tacos. It's 100 leva per person. 100 leva per person? How many tacos I'm gonna eat for 100 leva? You're gonna do uh, three different taco recipe, but from scratch, you're gonna do two tortillas. Tortilla de harina, the okay. flour tortilla, the corn tortilla, we'll make a few sauces. You're gonna make uh, Baja style fish tacos, that will be your lunch. We're gonna make carnitas, the same one I made for. Uh, oh, it's good. It's good the same one I made at Master Chef. We'll make the sauces, we'll make. So you have lunch, the tacos, the, the fish, Baja style. So it's white fish, which is breaded with a beer batter, deep fried, 
And then there's like another cabbage salad with this, which is mm -hmm. awesome. And then after this, we're gonna have the in the afternoon, we're gonna have the rest. And you're gonna go home with some carnitas for this. Do you one. have the date already for this? It is the 22nd and 23rd of May. May. 22nd, May. 23rd of May. Put it in your calendar. Don't forget about it. If you are in Barna, you're on vacation in Barna, you can come and enjoy the day. Have some nice tacos. Have fun. It's gonna be quite good. For sure. So this is the mix, Daniel. You see, look. Everything is mixed through. Uh -huh. okay. But you're here doing a, a, a small portion. Now that's the, that's the starter. I'm gonna use this to jumpstart my dough and proof it. This will give me enough to make my good, my big quantity at the end. That will give me about five to six loaves. So Daniel, our first mix is ready. You see how it has bubbled up? Yes, okay. yes. So we're ready for this. Only and this is... How, how long it took? It took half an hour, 45 minutes? 20 minutes, 20, 40 minutes, because I have the oven here at home a little bit longer, but with the oven, I just tilted the proofing. But it's bubbling. I have my eggs over here, so it's the... the everything is warm. Everything is warm. Everything is warm. All the ingredients are warm. I'm going to add to this uh, yogurt. We we'll start by mixing this with the whisk over here. All right. If I don't have this mixer, I do it by hand. I do it by hand, yeah. Okay. We mix this. Then to this, I add my sugar. Always wait to stop the machine before you put the sugar in. Otherwise, wait. Why? Why? Why are we? Why are we stop the machine to add the sugar? Otherwise, you have it all over the ceiling. Uh -huh. If you pour it as it's spinning, it won't fall. It's gonna go all over, and then okay. you have a problem. Okay. So we mix this to dissolve it properly uh -huh. until the sugar is not grainy anymore. Okay. And now, what is the next step to go? The next step that we're going to have to this is the salt. How much salt is that? That's about a pinch and a half. At this point, now we're going to remove the whisk because we're going from liquids to solids. So we're going to go the flour a bit at a time. You don't start with too much. And the same thing, please stop the machine in between each time. And don't put your fingers inside. Better not. I imagine the, the, the old ladies in Bulgaria are doing this by hand, by hand, by hand. By hand. Takes a whole day. That's why also this, when you do this, it's a sign of affection to someone. You spend time doing this for them. Now while this happens, I'm also going to put my fat in it bit by bit. Okay. okay. So this is the pork fat and the butter melted together and they were warm. The dough spin like this for about 25 to 30 minutes. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's not gonna jump out? No, we're good, we're good. Okay. I'm also gonna zest some orange and some lime, or some lemon, sorry, to put in. We have this, all right? We're gonna add our starter to it. All right, okay. Now is the moment. You can add it before, but I prefer to add it towards the end. Okay. Any any reason for that? Because then it doesn't overwork. Time you have to leave it. Yeah. Long time. Yeah, about 30 minutes. You want to incorporate everything all together. We're gonna zest our orange. How do you call that? A zester. It's a microplane, and you use this to get the zest. A bit of lime. I like the flavor of lime in it. Traditional smells Bulgarian, very nice. More smells very lime. nice. Okay. But we got lime, lemon, and Le orange. Lemon and orange. The classic Bulgarian will not have lime in it. Chef Korean apologies. Yeah. We're being unorthodox in an orthodox Country. celebration, man. Yeah. Hugo, this what is are we going to do? This is my expat side of it. Okay. And we're going to mix one way to see if your dough is ready also. Just to grab some dough in your hand like this, okay? And you stretch it. If the dough breaks right away, the gluten is not there yet. But it's almost there because you see, I can stretch it. It's called a window. Okay? Uh -huh. It should make a thin, you should be able to stretch it. You can taste it? It won't make a difference. It's not about the taste. It's not about this, it's the texture. You see, if I, it's, it breaks a bit, but it starts to be able to be stretched yeah. properly. So a little bit more. You yeah. have your dough here. We have a wooden surface, which is the best thing for this. You don't want to add flour with it. Because your dough is going to get more 
dry. Dry. Right. So you have this. Give me the raisins that we have there. I'll give you the raisins. Okay. Like this. So what you do is you simply use spread them like this. Uh huh. Okay. We could put them in the KitchenAid. That's not a problem. But I prefer not to. Because don't damage them. Yeah. Exactly. If you want to put chocolate, you put it now. If you want to put some walnuts inside, you put it now. If you want to put pistachio, lucum. You have the walnut here. That's for decoration. And the end of the bridge. Yeah. We're not going to put a few. Decoration afterwards. So you open your dough like this. Uh huh. Put the raisin. Okay, that's it. Many of them. And now? Okay, now you're going to come and fold. Fold. All right. Fold like that. Fold that. Yeah. This. And then, like the classic one. Pop. And then you fold it again. Uh huh. Like this. No, flatten it out like this. Okay. And now we're going to do. Ah. Croissant style. Well, not really, but dough. I made a dough, basically. Okay. All right. So we have the dough here. Okay. Yes. Now sir. let's put this aside and let's do our mold. Can, over, can we use it like that? We're going to go over this one over here. So we have a kilo, kilo 200, so divided by 3 is 400 each. But I always see that they have a very particular shape, you yeah, know, we'll do that right now. like a, what do you call this in English? A braid. Like a braid. Yeah. Exactly. We're going to do a braid? Yeah, I'll show you how. Alright, so what we do is, we cut this in half. And you come in your shape as a ball again. Right? So this your ball is, yeah. you push and you pull like this with your hand. Let me try it. Okay. Cut it in half. So what I do is, so I guess with two hands. I make a ball. Make a ball and then you I push. See. Look at my hand like this. Yeah. Okay. So it's all smooth. Okay. Yeah. And No, not really. No. No. Not yet, not there yet. And actually not good because look, this is broken. Okay. You'll see what because we have one more step after this. It has to be smooth like a baby's bum. Like, like a head. baby's bum. Okay. I just put the top of my head. <laughs> but this is not getting like that. Why right, yours looks Pro, yeah, but I've been doing this for many years. When you do pizza ball, it's the same thing. What do you think, people? Hugo, cheat me and give me a, a, a defective dog to me? That was this dog. All right, so you have I, your strands like this. Okay. Twist it like this. Yes, sir. Okay. Almost. You do a cross with it. This is adjusting this. Okay. okay. There are many ways. You can do a cross like this. You can do uh, three braids also if you want or something, but we'll do we'll start like this. Okay, we we'll do cross. Okay. We'll do cross. So you're gonna cross this like that, and you bring it tight over here, as much as possible in the middle. Okay. Then you're gonna go cross over here. You see, that's why you want to. This is actually this is nice because it's the same thickness. You see, mine is a bit too thin. Mm -hmm. All of it in, but looks as this is nice because this is nice because it's the same thickness. <laughs> now I'm gonna get mixed up at this point over here. Okay, this, this, and now this. where are we going now? <laughs> this here, okay. And now we do three style. The other one here. Two, you have to pinch it. This is gonna open when you bake it. So you have to come in, you have to pitch it underneath. Uh-huh. Okay. Same thing with this, you pitch it underneath, and you're gonna come and you're gonna put it like this is really nice. This is really nice. That's, it's good, huh? Yeah, okay. So you put in your mold or all right, my mold is here. Like this? Like a baby. Yeah. I put it like a baby. All right. Now, this looks really small, but you see at the end how big it is? Important. All right, three braids. Even better. You'll see how easy it is with three braids, okay? So you start like this, and you pinch them over here. Yes, sir. If you have a daughter, you'll know how to make... I know. Like how I know. Okay, three daughters. You have three daughters? Yes. Really? Yeah. I know how to make a braid better. 
But I like to go not gonna fit. Okay, well, you see. Because I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna go like this. You see, that's how I like to do it. That is, that is the looking. That, that is the presentation that I'm looking for, Chef Hugo. And what we do is... A high five. <laughs> A little bit of oil on top, gently. Uh -huh. Because we're gonna proof this in the oven again. For how long? This will take about three and a half hours now. The proofing for three and a half hours, four hours. Which temperature? Uh, proofing is about 35 degrees with some humidity in it. So guys, this is after the final proofing. We've made the dough, it proofed in the oven. This half recipe gave me three pieces. So what we do now is that we're gonna get some, some just some egg whites over here and slightly brush gently following the strands this will help because now I'm going to stick some sugar on top of it, like this. It's better if you have the Mirara sugar, the thick sugar rather than fine sugar like this. So you have, you could use some brown sugar if you wanted. That's not really Bulgarian again, but if you don't have the Merera, you can use the white kale brown sugar. These come from Dobrich, from my chef Kolian, his grandmother. Give us fresh walnuts that she got from the garden. You could use also uh, pumpkin seeds if you want. That would work. That would be also really, really good on this. Could I put raisin on top? There are raisins in it also. There's raisins in it. Not on top because they're gonna burst and they're gonna burn. Let's go in the oven. You'll see me in the oven over here. So we'll put this in the oven. My oven is at 170. No fan, all right? Because you don't want any fan in it. And that's gonna take about 40 minutes to get it done. All right, so the El Arco Zulek is ready, finally. After now, all this time today. It's the moment of the truth. Yes, I'll go in the oven so you guys can see. It is awesome. Let's see, let's see. Cannot wait, how many? Four hours, Four In total, hours. in total, this took me today six and a half hours. Wow! How hot have to be inside? It has to be above 95 degrees. Above 95? Yeah. Now it's 94, 95, 90. Perfect, Hugo. All right, then everybody It's perfect. So you have to let it rest before you can carve it. That's the important thing. If you cut it now, it's going to get moist inside. And uh -huh. it will be nice. So the thing is, when you bake bread, you leave it for one hour before you can have it. No more. Uh -huh. You have to, you have to resist. Are you joking? No, seriously. You have to resist one hour before you can eat it. Because right now the crust is still soft. You want the crust to get slightly hard to do this. You wait for yours, and I do mine now, and we see who is gonna be more happy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> see? Mm. It is good. It is very it good. It is good. I wanna it say very good. a big, big, big thing to Chef Kalayan, because he coached me in this. I've done it. Once or twice before, but Chef is the expert on this. No go to go Thank you very much for this. Chef Kaloyan, thank you very much for the recipe. I hope everybody's gonna try it at home. We still have a few days before, before Easter. Easter. Yes. yes. Then go get your stuff, get yourself ready, and prepare a coconut for you and your family. It's gonna be a nice thing. People are gonna enjoy it. People are gonna like it. Chef Hugo. Daniel. Thank you very much for teaching me how to prepare this You are welcome. Tonight. It's always good to see you. I'm sorry we didn't get to watch this semester. It's been busy. Don't miss the other shows on Ferrari.bg, Bites and History. There's a few episodes before. We did 13 last season, which yes. was awesome. Nothing better than Ome Kuzuna. Nothing better. But it's important that when you have Kuzuna, you bring it to your friends. It's a sign of respect when you give this to your friends. You make Kuzuna and you bake it and you bring it wherever you go. So it's really, really important. Uh, yes. to, to then do don't make just one, make a few. I don't know, make six, seven, or eight. Six, seven, or eight. All right. So guys, we're gonna. It's ready, but to be honest, it has it had rested for a while, but we, we kind of had to taste it. Yes. All right. Well, let's take it out. Let's take it out from there right. and, and and cut a little bit for them to see how soft it is. Look at so that. You see the crumb is light and airy inside. It's super nice for this. With a knife, you don't really see the strings, which what makes the the, the, the important. But when you pull it, 
exactly now you'll see this is what we are looking for this is what i'm looking for guys this here if you can focus you see the strands in here like like pull like string cheese basically that's what you want to have that's another good question like like this here this is absolutely awesome so guys happy easter happy easter to everybody don't forget to like and subscribe like and subscribe like and subscribe click the button click the button see last year's season and if you want to have more just tell daniel what he wants and, and if you have any comment if you don't like kusunak if you hate kusunak if you love kusunak i want to know let me know guys and if i did wrong blame me don't blame daniel no 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 daniel blame him bye bye Oh. Push like. <laughs> if you enjoy this video, don't forget to share and subscribe to Foreigner BG Facebook page and YouTube channel.